Hey good people, Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video we're going to look at finding limits graphically and numerically. So uh, if we look at the graph over here first of all, uh, what we're trying to find is not the exact value of a function per se, and sometimes that is helpful, but we want to find out, uh, sometimes you know you've seen a hole in a graph, we want to find out what is the function approaching from the right and from the left on uh, with respect to the y-axis as in this case the values of x approach 1 so as the values of x get closer and closer and closer to 1 from the right and from the left what value on the y-axis is this function approaching and in this case you can see it's 3 that you can see it graphically that it's 3 you can also see it numerically here so if now we're looking numerically from the right and from the left of this particular function x to the third minus one over x minus one and we're taking these x values and substituting into this function here then we see that the values get closer and closer and closer to three from the right and from the left however if we put one in there uh, that will be undefined because we can't 1 minus 1 is 0 in our denominator which would make it undefined so we're not trying to find the actual value of 1 we just want to know what number uh, what the function is approaching as x is approaching 1 okay so uh, this is an informal definition of the limit as f of x becomes arbitrarily close to a single single number L as X approaches C from either side then the limit of F of X as X approaches C is capital L and it's written as you see it here the limit of the function F of X and the X arrow C means as X approaches C equals the limit so looking at this example here and I kind of keep this make this not as long we're not going to look at the two endings we'll just go uh, from the 1.99, 1.999, and so forth. So as x approaches 2, now what we try to do with most of these is substitute that value in. What we try to do is substitute this value of 2 in, but if we place 2 in there, we see in our denominator we have 2 minus 2, which is 0, and that would make that undefined at that point. So uh, if we substitute 1.99 in for each one of the x's x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x minus 2 and we replace all of those x's with 1.99 in our calculator uh, then we end up with about 0 0.99 if we place 1.99 in we end up with 0 0.999 and just the opposite if we're approaching 2 um, from our right hand side then 2.01 plug it in get about 1.01 2.001 plug it in we get about 1.001 and as you can see from the right and from the left sorry about that from the right and from the left we get closer and closer and closer to 1 so let's look here number 15 we want to find uh, the limit graphically um, as x in number 15 limit of the 4 minus x as x approaches 3 now in this one graphically you can see that when x equals 3 when x equals 3 here then y equals 1 so when x equals 3 y equals 1 so that's very simple and from the right or from the left when x approaches 3 or when x equals 3 in this case uh, y equals 1 so there's no disputing that if it's not a hole in the graph then it's very simple uh, a lot of times you can just substitute the whatever x is approaching into the function to find your limit uh, 19 is a little bit different though uh, just want to find the limit as x of 
the absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So if you see if we substitute 2 in uh, in our x in our denominator, we would end up with a 0 in the, our denominator, which would make it undefined. So let's see here. As x approaches 2 from the right, let's change colors here. As x approaches 2 from the right, then y approaches 1 value of the y of the function is 1 as x approaches 2 from the right. However, as x approaches 2 from the left, the value of the function in regards to the y-axis, with respect to the y-axis, of course, is negative 1. So since these numbers approach two different values, the function approaches two different values when I'm going from the right and from the left, then the function or the limit in this case does not exist. Does not exist since the uh, function approaches two different values as I go from the right and from the left. All righty, let's continue. Uh, down here we have uh, the limit of x approaches negative 4 or the limit of sine pi x as x approaches negative 4. So here's negative 4 on my x-axis. I'm trying to figure out what the value of the function would be or what the value of y would be as x approaches negative 4. And it has to be the same value as we approach from the right and from the left for the limit to exist. So as I'm going from my right hand side here, or the right hand side of the graph, we see that uh, the value of the function is 0. As I approach here from the left hand side, then we see the value of the function is still 0. So the limit of this as x approaches negative 4 is simply 0. All right, what about number 20 here? The limit um, of 2 over 5 over x minus 5 as x approaches 5. Okay, so as x approaches 5 from the right, we see that my function begins to increase and continues to increase and increase and increase going towards positive infinity. As I approach from the left, we see that this function begins to decrease, 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 and goes towards negative infinity, which again means that the limit does not exist. All right, so in this one, we want to uh, use the graph of the function to decide whether the value of the given quantity exists. If it does, find it. If not, explain why. Okay, so we have a few, two different questions here, two different types of questions. Part A says, what is the value of the function when x equals 1, period? We're not looking for a limit. We're looking for the actual value of the function when x equals 1. So when x equals 1, I have a solid circle here at y equals 2. So when x equals 1, I have a solid circle that says that the value of the function is equal to 2. Now, what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 1? So as x approaches 1 from the right here, the, my graph is approaching one on the y-axis. However, as x approaches one from the left, my graph up here, up here is approaching, uh, looks like a, about three and a half. So since they are approaching two different values, then the limit does not exist of this, for this function as x approaches one. What about the function, uh, the value of the function when x equals 4? Well, when x equals 4 here, the value of my function, there's a hole in that graph, so that does not exist either. I don't have an answer to that because there is a hole there in the graph. So again, we were not looking for the limit. We were looking for the actual value when it says f of 4 equals. 
All right, so part D says find the limit of the function as x approaches 4 from the right and from the left. So as x approaches 4 from the right here, then my y value or y approaches 2 or the function approaches 2. As x approaches 4 from the left, we're still using that same line, then the value of that y still approaches 2. So that limit would be 2. Alrighty, good people. That's all for this lesson. I hope you found it to be helpful. Thank you.